Hello everyone, I'm Icy. And I'm Viviana. Welcome to Wolf TV. Here's the news for Friday, October 11, 2024. Hey Wolves, the submission window for Celebrating Excellence is now open and it closes on December 18th, 2024. Show off your amazing talents by submitting a project where you can win fabulous prizes. Some of the area's demonstration include performing arts, visual arts, creative writing, athletics, and more. Even teachers and staff can submit your talents in the Let Staff Shine category. You can submit your talent in just three easy steps. Read the Canvas slideshow instructions on Celebrating Excellence page at wps.org ce. Complete the Canvas template and complete the CE submission form. Contact Lori Davidick at ldavidick at wps.org if you have any questions. The Westie Library has some exciting news for all our students and staff. Now let's check in with our official Wolf TV Library reporter, Carmen. The WHS Library is thrilled to announce that you can now download the Destiny Discover app to enjoy ebooks from the comfort of your home. With Destiny Discover, you will have access to a vast library of digital books from the WHS Library, including award winning titles all at your fingertips. Start your reading adventure today and enjoy books anytime, anywhere in just three easy steps. Step 1 Download the Destiny Discover app. Step 2. Sign in with your WHS username and password. Step 3. Search for a book. Happy reading, Wolves! Wow, that was easy. I can't wait to dig into my next book. But first, let's find out what's going on this week at West Sports. Kevin, what have you got for us? Good afternoon, I'm Kevin. Here is all the sports happening this week. The Wolf kicks off today at 7 p.m. against Overland and Wolf Pack Memorial Stadium. It's a pink out, so make sure to wear your pink jerseys or t-shirts. We will see you there, Wolves. The girls' softball teams were off today at 4 p.m. against Adam City. It will take place at Adam City, so make sure to be there to support our girls. The JB football team kicks off against Overland in the Wolfpack Memorial Stadium at 11 p.m a.m. Tomorrow, we hope we see you there, Wolf Pack. Now, let's find out what's happening this week. Book of the Week is... Hi everyone, I'm Elise, and this is the Westy Book of the Week. Barkeeper's Daughter by Angeline Bowley, winner of the Michael O. Prince Award in Young Adult Literature, is an electrifying debut that blends a gripping thriller with a profound coming-of-age story. The novel centers on 18-year-old Donna's Fontaine, a biracial young woman straddling the worlds of her white mother and her Jewish father. When a dangerous new drug wreaks havoc in her community, Donna finds herself in the heart of an undercover investigation. If you want to find out how this thrilling adventure ends, check it out from the Leicester Library today. Hello, Westy. I'm Aidan Martin, and I am here today to talk to you about an incredible opportunity. Every Tuesday, our school's Model UN meets, and I would like to invite you to join us. Model UN allows students to simulate current global issues. You'll be able to go to competitions and even have fun. Model UN not only looks great on a resume, but it will teach you a lot about global politics. For more information, please reach out to Mr. Nastas at pianastas at wps.org. I want to welcome the community here to the Ivor C. Ranum campus. From the brightly colored futuristic logo imprinted on Rubik's Cubes, and yes, even on a fingernail, to a drone-assisted ribbon cutting. Everything about the new Ranum campus is about innovation. Here, we have space for our students with state-of-the-art, hands-on learning opportunities that will plug them into meaningful work when they graduate from high school or prepare them for their continuing education. Here, students and staff will partner with business leaders to meet the needs of both employers and employees. And it is here the community members will someday come to expand their learning and job skills. Phase one opened in August with pathways in aviation engineering, biotechnology, and cyber technology. All three pathways allow students to earn industry credentials as well as college credits. As Superintendent Jenny Gatto made clear, the Ranum campus is an investment in the future. We needed to be bold in creating a campus that went beyond the traditional classroom experience. 
Our students and our business leaders had made it clear that changing times and changing labor force demands demanded that we change. Labor market data shows that providing students meaningful post-secondary options is crucial, not only for families, but also for the economies of Adams County, the surrounding area, and the state. But moving forward doesn't mean forgetting the past. The district acknowledged that this land once belonged to the Southern Arapaho tribe led by Chief Little Raven, and that the heart and the soul of the district in its early years was former Superintendent Ivor C. Ranham, who led the district for a quarter century. With his daughter, grandchildren, and great-grandchildren looking on, Ivor's grandson shared a quote Ivor wrote in the 1963 high school yearbook. In this highly competitive life where you will live to your adulthood, you must be able to honestly convince the world of your ability and worth. High school years should be spent in building self-confidence and developing talents and skills. Use the many educational opportunities to develop the most important product in the world, yourself. A guiding principle then and now. The fall sport season is coming to a, a end, but still have time to catch your favorite Westie team in action. Here is everything happening next week. It's the coming and red bell board. And that's it for today's Lowell TV. Thanks for watching. I'm Icy. And I'm Viviana. Have a great day. We'll see you next time.